Hello everyone, welcome to the Metaverse opening today uh, of the uh, VRWS Park as well as the DSL collection on Sensor. Uh, we're really happy that you can join us uh, today, whether you are in the US, uh, which will be the Saturday morning, or if you are in uh, Paris or Europe, uh, it will be your afternoon around three. And if you're joining from China, um, you will be uh, in your 9 or 10 p.m. at night. We're really, really happy we can be doing this uh, today with you all. And um, so I am uh, today's host and uh, also one of the organizer of this uh, project that we're about to share with you all. Uh, we're going to be hopping into the sensor space uh, in a few minutes. Uh, but first, I would like to briefly introduce uh, everyone who is the presenter today, and as well as the order of our event uh, today. As I can already see, many of you are joining us on YouTube Live or Instagram Live, um, as well as on Sensor. We see a lot of avatars there. So we're really, really glad that you can make it today. Um, so uh, let me briefly uh, just remind everyone, uh, if you could mute your sound uh, within Sensor, it will be a mic button on the left-hand side of your screen on Sensor uh, or within VR uh, during this event. Uh, that will be really appreciated. We're going to for, um, prioritize our sound on the live stream today. And then later on, after the live stream, we're going to have uh, a little bit of a social time on the social via on the sensor platform. So everybody can then mute, uh, unmute your sound back then, uh, back, back, and then we can all chat uh, in there. Uh, but uh, uh, let me just really briefly introduce who are all here uh, as our presenter. Uh, again, I'm Snow Yun Shui Fu. Uh, I am a new media artist, curator, uh, and professor here at NYU Tisch School of uh, the Arts. And uh, I am one of the organizer for the project uh, VRWS Park. Um, and then uh, we also here today have um, Mr. Uh, Selvin Levy. Selvin, if you can wave uh, real quick. Uh, so Selvin, uh, we're actually going to hear from him first as a speaker today, uh, is one of the founding member of the DSL collection, uh, which has uh, supported and organized both of the Metaverse um, exhibition today we're going to share with you all. So then we're very happy that you can join us today. Um, and then uh, we also have uh, here, uh, Derek Pong. Derek, if you can wave your hand, thank you. Uh, as well as Leo Liu. Um, Great, and we're so happy to also have Derek and Leo join us. Um, Derek and Leo are from the Configure Reality uh, that's based in Shenzhen, uh, China, and they are the one who is in charge of setting up the beautiful DSL collection on Sensa uh, spaces, which we will also get a tour from both of them today um, to showcase the space as well as learn about uh, some of the artwork that is on there. 
Um, and then next, um, I also have uh, Ming Shu. Uh, Ming, if you want to wave your hand. Great. Uh, Ming is uh, one of the artists who is actually shown in the uh, exhibition VRWS Park. Uh, so uh, today I will also be giving you a tour in the VRWS Park as well as uh, giving it to Ming to share about uh, some of the work that she's also involved with that's currently exhibiting. Um, and then uh, we also have uh, Camilla, uh, Camilla who is my assistant uh, for this project and she's going to be uh, the back end person running everybody today. Uh, Camilla, we really appreciate uh, all the things that you do. And um, and then last but not the least, uh, we also have Karen Lavi, although Karen can join us um, on her view, um, but I want to just really quickly mention Karen is such an important person uh, in terms of actually uh, making things happen. Uh, I actually got to know uh, Karen and then uh, later on find out about a DSL collection and um, and then uh, you know a few months later uh, we're all here now in this opening with our beautiful metaverse uh, exhibitions that we would like to share with everybody today so that is everybody here uh, in the presenter view um, so uh, next uh, I'm going to just briefly talk about our order of event today and so um, first of all Sylvan will uh, give us a um, overall uh you know view of what uh, how this both of the project come together he's really the mastermind right the visionary of today and um so we'll hear from him first and then uh secondly um uh i will give you all a um tour virtual tour of the vrws park uh spaces and talk also a little bit about me as uh both uh, sort of the virtual architect who, um, you know, organized the space as well as uh, the curator who is programming the space um, and some of the vision that we might also have for the future of the space as well as the artwork that's exhibited in here um, and uh, uh, as well as having Ming share about uh, her work here. And uh, those of uh, the other artists who is able to join us today on Sensor or on YouTube uh, also welcome you to be here uh, as well. And, and then thirdly, uh, we're going to have Derek and Leo. We're all going to teleport right to uh, the WS, uh, DSL co collection on Sensor project. We have portals set up within our spaces. Uh, we'll, we'll bring everybody over there. Um, and then having a beautiful tour. And then Derek and Leo will also be able to tell everybody more about their um, ideas and visions uh, of setting up the space. Um, and then uh, finally, we're going to have a Q&A session and uh, we're going to uh, uh, open to everybody actually leaving comments and questions uh, underneath the YouTube live stream right so where you see the comment section feel free to write down your uh, ideas and question um and throughout the whole presentation uh, however at the end uh, we're going to uh, try to uh, pick some of the questions uh, because of time we won't be able to go over everybody's questions um so uh we will address some of them uh, at the end of our live stream. However, after the live stream, everybody are welcome to stay or move over to the Sensor space. Uh, and then in Sensor, since it is a social VR platform, it's also a perfect place for everybody to talk and chat with each other. So if your question haven't got asked uh, during the Q&A, or if you like to talk to any, any one of the presenters, uh, you will have a chance to do that as well. So make sure you stay till the very end. So without further ado, uh, why don't we go ahead and share the screen of our Sensor Beautiful Space. Um, and uh, Sylvan, if you would like to um, share a bit about your involvement uh, and ideas uh, relating to both of the exhibition, that would be really great. Hand it over to you, Sylvan. Thank, thank you very much. And uh, thank you very much for everybody uh, being here today. Uh, today I will speak on behalf of uh, the family, family, the family, ladies' family, uh, which is also the DSL collection. 
Uh, first, I will say a big thank to Karen, uh, who made this project with you uh, become a reality, and also to Aika, who is supporting also a lot all these projects. Uh, uh, today, I, I'm, it's a very emotional day for me to tell you to choose. You know, 10 years ago, uh, we were the first to have a, uh, an application on iPad. And uh, you've seen how iPad has changed the life of people in 10 years. And I think that today we are perhaps at the threshold, at the inception of something which will have the same impact on the life of the people within this new decade. And uh, to be part of this uh, new time, which will be also, I shall say, uh, uh, will, which will also will uh, uh, encounter many difficulties, which will put on the table a lot of human issues. Uh, but let us be optimistic. And with this project, I'm very optimistic. I'm optimistic that because whatever will be the metaverse, there will always be possibilities to create islands of, I shall say, pleasure and freedom. And uh, this is the good example of a good example of this kind of the beginning of an island of pleasure. Today, we have the chance to have with us people from the United States, NYU, and we have the chance to have with us people from China, Shenzhen, and we are from Europe. What a nice way to begin such an experience by joining the three parts of the world. And I think that art will always be the best way to join people. So for me, this project and how this project will, will evolve can be an incredible good example in this world called the metaverse, which is already I shall say, very controversial, but we can make things better if we always put art in the center and always technology serve art and not art serve technology. Once again, Snow, once again, Derek, it's, it was, it's incredibly for us enriching to work with, with people like you, to work with also the people from NYU, Thank you very much, NYU and uh, T-Shirt School. And I do hope that this project will inspire a lot of other projects. And then slowly and slowly, we can build this island of pleasure where people will cyber flan, will stroll all together and uh, will have pleasure and, and perhaps uh, show that the metaverse is not what I should say everybody's fearing. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much, Selvin. That was lovely. Uh, since we have Karen here, why don't you also just share uh, a few words about your involvement with the projects as well? Thank you, Karen. I'm, I'm really sorry uh, that I, I can't hear everyone, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy. And thank you again, Snow. Thank you. Uh, um also to your amazing students uh, who participated with you i know you created a, a real ecosystem around this project and i really think we are making um a, 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 you know a beginning of a long and amazing adventure together and we're very happy with uh, the dsl collection and aika to be joining forces to to make a a history experience so so congratulations and and, and uh, we're very happy to be to be here and uh, and to all the team that has worked very hard uh on very short timing uh for this project Thank you very much, Karen, for that. And I also just want to mention thanks everybody who has been supporting, right? And then also following the progress of the project's building. Uh, I want to also mention Amy, uh, who is uh, part of the ICA connection uh, that uh, I know is being a very important person, as well as everybody else who is on the whole team to make this project uh, being realized. So thank you, Karen, and thank you, Sylvan, for the beautiful opening words. Um, so just next, uh, oh. So I just want Dominique to say hello. Oh, Hi. for sure. Yes. Oh, yes, you know, I'm the D of DSL. So 
I'm so happy that, uh, you know, this fantastic project uh, is uh, already built with you. Uh, it's a, a beautiful project and I hope, uh, you know, many, many people all around the world will follow you and the team and uh, really congratulations. Thank you so much, Dominic. Um, and I love that uh, the whole Levine family is here. As we know, DSL collection is a family collection. Oh, as well as a brother uh, who, hello. Uh, and then, um, and then, so, you know, thank you so much for the love uh, that you all have with art, um, the support. I know that uh, DSL collection has been um, this kind of ongoing, um, powerhouse right that supports not only in contemporary chinese art as well as now uh in the virtual spaces uh lots of digital artists as well and uh, i just want to give a personal thank you know to all of you who um have been so supportive um and then uh you know making this project realize so um you know really glad that uh, everybody can can join today in the opening as well um, so next, uh, we're going to go into our tour session uh, of today's opening. So as you all uh, already see um, on the live stream, we have been following uh, this, uh, uh, let's just say robot, right? <laughs> that is uh, Camilla's avatar uh, around the space, uh, even as uh, the Levine family has been sharing bit about uh, the project. So now we're uh, everybody welcome to follow um, Camilla's robot. Uh, so if you're also on sensor, feel free to follow uh, her with your avatar as well. Uh, we're going to give a little little bit time for people to kind of adjust to that. Uh, you're also more than welcome to just uh, stay with us on the live stream, right? So actually uh, prioritize again the live stream. Oh, I see some avatar is uh, uh, following up <laughs> with Camilla, beautiful. Um, so uh, I'm going to uh, have Camilla just kind of walk around. Uh, so we're entering into uh, what the space is called the uh, fountain area in the Washington Square Park. Uh, those of you who might have had the previous experience in the physical Washington Square Park will recognize the setup and build up uh, that our virtual version is very much uh, thinking about referencing, right? Um, when uh, Sylvan and Karen brought this idea to me, um, in the summer of this year, um, not only now they wanted to show my work uh, as a Chinese American digital artist, uh, but they also say, well, Snow, why don't you uh, also curate a good group of your students' work, right, as an expansion of uh, your practice? Um, and then let's, you know, think about also the space. Uh, what would be a unique space uh, that speaks about uh, the kind of physical location uh, as well as right this idea of a cultural hub and so um i uh came to this idea of setting up a virtual version of the washington square park uh, because of many a few days Am I back? Oh. Hello? Yes. Yes, we're back. Oh, am I back? All right. Sorry about that. Here's the internet. Um, so, uh, all right. Uh, sorry about that. And uh, uh, so continuously, uh, I was talking about that. Uh, I came to the idea of setting up the exhibition, not anywhere else, but the Washington Square Park. Uh, for its uh, cultural hub, yeah, a cultural hub in New York City, and also to its close tie to New York University. And so um, we went in, right? You can see the beautiful arch on the back. Um, and um, we also wanted to set it up in a um, 
sort of first of the winter time frame. Uh, as we know that the exhibition will open around uh, end of November, and so it will in a, in a way reflect uh, the weather we have. And uh, the first exhibition that uh, I was able to curate uh, was the exhibition called Land of Post Photo. Um, so as Camilla can walk around a little bit, uh, you will see not only uh, Amongst the center of the fountain, we have a giant juice um, face screen set up uh, to showcase the uh, experimental 3D moving image work uh, from my student, mainly of the Department of Photo and Imaging um, at Tisch, as well as actually uh, other schools uh, at Tisch. And, um, and then we also have uh, around the park other screens uh, installed uh, where there are images installed uh, and the moving image on the end. And not only that, also have a virtual sculpture. We'll take a minute for snow to reconnect. While snow is reconnecting, Ming, would you like to talk a little bit more about your piece? I'm gonna start heading in that direction. Oh yeah, thank you. Let me just head over there as well. So towards the end. Yeah, I think the right mm -hmm. and then the left. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so um, I'm Ming, I'm a multidisciplinary artist, and I mainly do work with photography, but also the reinterpretation of what photographic imaging means today in terms of our context of new media through different mediums. So it's not just digital photography, but 3D imaging and um, installation work as well. But today I'm actually presenting the work of Genesis Kai, and she's an avatar and virtual human that I just started working with. And her name is derived from the Bible's book of Genesis and Kai, which is the Chinese character, which means to begin or to start. And this is extremely special because this metaverse setting with a very innovative educational institute that I'm also a student of and a very esteemed cultural art collection like the DSL actually marks her debut as an avatar artist. Um, this piece that we're looking at here is actually called Manifest and it's her documentation of the birth and her inception of her digital body floating in a meditative space in a liminal space called the embryo which is her point of origin and sentience and it sits between our physical reality and her digital realm um, genesis is actually working on launching a real life physical counterpart video piece to this digital one that we're enjoying here in the metaverse because her philosophy as an avatar is 
really focused on creating meaningful and extended experiences, both digitally and in reality, because she's somebody who doesn't actually exist in the flesh. And as her art style is developing over time with a worldview that she's constantly absorbing and changing, she will continue to release art that can cross the realm of the digital. Thank you. Hello, I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, technical issues with the internet. Um, thank you very much, Ming, for sharing about the project that you are involved with. And um, just as I um, going to finalize uh, my tour part of the um, of the exhibition. Uh, so, like Ming's pieces, uh, we have. Um, nine other artists uh, showing their work uh, in the first exhibition that is called Land of the Post Photo. So each of the artists, and you will find their name uh, on the billboard around the uh, fountain area. So feel free to you know, check out, as well as you will see uh, the different uh, labels uh, next to each one of their work uh, so that you can also not only find out who they are, uh, but also a little bit of what the work is about uh, when you're visiting the sensor space. And uh, so each of the students um, take this idea of what is post photo. Um, and uh, uh, we live in this age and world uh, that is so much uh, involved with images that we're seeing, right? It's how we perceive the world um, and, you know, how photography has um, really played a big part of that. But nowadays, um, uh, when we're talking about post photo simulations, right, even the fact that we are in a simulated exhibition spaces, I think is really uh, the visual language of our time. Um, and uh, so each student, um, each artist uh, were able to uh, utilize this medium in different ways uh, to reflect on their uh, personal understanding, right, uh, as well as uh, social um, and uh, ideological, philosophical considerations uh, of the world. So it's really uh, a lovely show uh, that I was really happy to put together uh, as the first uh, exhibition in the space. And um, uh, really quickly, uh, our VRWS Park is also going to be an ongoing space. So um, in the future, not only hosting shows like this, we will also be hosting other Metaverse event, right? Uh, so please uh, feel free to, uh, you know, follow us on social media uh, at, you know, Instagram or Facebook uh, to learn more about uh, other events that we will have, other performances uh, that we'll have in this space, uh, very similar to how the physical Washington Square Park has been a cultural hub to uh, New York City. And so um, uh, now, uh, uh, Let's all follow the Camilla's avatar. Um, some of you may have seen this beautiful portal uh, at the other side of the park across uh, our beautiful arches. Uh, so one may wonder what, where does this portal lead to? And so um, uh, everyone feel free to actually head towards the portal because this is the way uh, we're going to start with our next tour, uh, which is in the DSL collection on Sensor um, part of the exhibition. Thanks, everybody. Uh, so go ahead, uh, uh, Kamala, if you want to go in, and everybody else, if you want to go in. And then um, I'm going to also hand over to Leo and Derek uh, next. So we'll you know, take a, a few minutes just to uh, make sure that people are logging in OK. OK. Go ahead, uh, Leo and Derek. Okay, just wait for others to come in. Okay. Uh, feel free to start talking about the project if you like, um, and then we can start the tour after a few minutes. Thank you. Okay.
Sylvia's not here. Mm. We're coming. Okay. Cool. Here I am. Oh, cool. <laughs> I see that Sylvan is on his VR headset too. That's great. <laughs> so yeah, <clears throat> yeah, and then everybody can identify Leo's avatar very easily because he has a bear head. So feel free to oh, and he's jumping now. So feel free to follow him uh, yeah. as he give us a tour. Uh, please go ahead, Leo. Okay. So welcome everyone to our space. So this is the Hall of GSL Collection series of exhibitions on sensor. Uh, you can see that uh, now the space is uh, surrounded by portals uh, leading to several independent spaces for artworks. Uh, later, later on, I will show you two of the spaces and give you a brief introduction of the structure for the entire exhibition. Uh, here, if we look up here, we can see a huge structure. Uh, it looks like a rotating orbit or a clock. We use it to represent the passage of time and the cycle of the uh, of the universe. It also represents a trans uh, <clears throat> transportation hub for visiting different worlds. So, uh, if you if you go here, you can see uh, there is a quick access station, which leads to different worlds. <clears throat> but for now, we won't be using it. Uh, here is just basic introduction to the uh, to the uh, space. And it's necessary to prepare for newcomers who come here. If you want to listen to the audio introduction about the spaces or work later, just go to the location of the introduction board uh, like this, here like this, and click on it. If it's here, the audio introduction. Yeah. And now I will lead you guys into one of the artworks by Chen Chiu Lin. It's called the empty, uh, the empty city. It's here. If you can, if you guys can see me jumping, just follow me. Just follow me ahead. Here. Not from the, the quick access access station. Follow me here. Yeah. You can see the pyramid is opening the animation, and when we go through the portal, we are in. Maybe wait for a minute. I think there are some guys who are left. Uh, hi, Leo, Derek. While we're waiting for others, could you also tell us a little bit more about the artists and artwork that we're looking at in this tour? Thank you. Okay, no problem. Um, maybe we can just start now. Yeah. So now that we have entered the world of uh, Chen Julin's work, uh, as I said before, we interpreted the works of eight artists and created separate spatial experiences related to them based on their inspiration. In order to ensure that everyone who comes a visit for the first time uh, 
I, I'm, I'm going to make sure they will uh, not get lost. So the eight art spaces share a unified spatial layout, uh, which includes the, uh, the, uh, the room of the original work, which is here. So you can see the original work by the artist. And if you guys can follow me here, to the left here, you can see the balcony. I call it balcony because you can see in different worlds the view of the whole scene. So you can meditate here or just have a rest or chat with your friends. It's quiet here. And also you can come back to the uh, Hall of DSL collection from the portal here. Yeah, so that's how it functions. And to the opposite of the balcony, here is a portal room, which leads you to the other seven uh, artworks. It's also like a quick access. Yeah. And the final one is the main room, which contains our uh, new creation of the artwork. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come here, I'm jumping here. Okay, let's go inside. Uh, this is basically a space we created um, from the inspiration of Chen Chilin's artwork, The Empty City. We put a city like the, uh, like the Minecraft uh, shape, and you can see the city is extruding from the surfaces of the pyramid. It's putting you in there, and you can uh, you can jump around like a child. It's like you know, going back to the childhood, and the artwork itself represents uh, how the city has changed during the time. And actually, you can see a lot of difference from what it's what it's like uh, comparing to it's like in your childhood. And you can see some stuff, items, and clothes, and balloons. Also, um, below the water, there's a tiny city you can explore, just like uh, Ultraman and uh, monsters. So when you laugh or uh, play hide and seek with your friend inside the space, we want you to explore from different angles and to hide and to explore the new videos by the artist. You can see somewhere from the back, from the front, or from the top you can see different screens. So we want the people to play and explore inside the space. So this is how it works in this uh, in this world. And this is just the one of the artworks here. And if you, you can go outside and back with me, we can go to another artwork, which is by Jai Li. This one, this one. I'm coming.
Okay, this is the work by Jai Li, which is named Untitled. And for the original work, maybe some people uh, cannot see the, uh, see the introduction, so I will introduce to you here. Um, so with this work, Jairi hopes that audience can walk out of their own world for a moment and feel the pain and isolation that, in, uh, that inquired the world of its paintings. This desire stems from the huge scale paintings these paintings attract the audience to the um, lonely soul embedded in the vast land of Jia Li. This vast land provides a scene for this uh, psychological drama. In the untitled, a long figure stands with his head bowed in front of a huge uh, propeller that partially breaks away from the shell. This scene shows some of the lonely social landscape in Shenyang, the city where Jia lives and works. In the local area, many steel and heavy industry factories were ordered to close in the uh, 1980s and 1990s. The gray background, uh, background is uh, reminiscent of an abandoned aircraft factory. The soft lonely shadow depicted by the brush streaks is even more insignificant in this context. So this is the original work and to the opposite, there's a main room you can see here. So everyone's coming. So here you can see there are some guys who are faceless waiting to come inside. But from here, you can just see a small angle and you can not see all of them. And from the stairs, you, if you go up here and you go inside, you will see there are a mass of group of people and the engine in the center. It's like a stage, a stage where people are waiting to be dominated. They're, not, they're just like workers and, they are, and in the original work, the people and the engine, they, are, they share the similar scale, but in our 3D scene, we make, it, uh, <clears throat> we make it more different. The people are smaller and the engine are much bigger. So we can make a, a much larger contrast here. If you, go, if you go across the crowd, you can see they are murmuring like they are talking to themselves and talking to the people near them. You don't understand what they are talking about. And the music back in, in the background shows you some uh, like kind some kind of uh, sadness, in my opinion. Because uh, for this time, the time is so limited, so maybe we can go outside. It's a bit more quiet. And that's basically all I have to say about the artworks. And for the other six artworks, we can explore uh, if time allows. Thank you very much, Leo, for that wonderful tour. Um, and now uh, we're able to go into some of the spaces of the artist's artwork. Um, so uh, we're going to uh, have the chance for everybody to explore uh, later. And um, for the next section, which is the last section of today's opening, uh, I would like everybody to perhaps try to go back to the lobby area right now. Uh, the whole of the DSL collection. Uh, so we're going to go into our Q&A session there. Uh, so everyone, if you are joining again on the YouTube live, uh, please feel free to write down your questions in the comment area. Um, and I already see some, uh, you know, down there uh, as well as your questions. And um, so we're going to wait a little bit for everybody to kind of come back to the space too. Uh, but I have kind of... Uh, uh, 
maybe a couple questions to uh, start us up, um, and then um, I'm going to hand it over to Camilla. I think she might also have uh, some of the questions as somebody who has been, um, you know, going through this process of setting up the project with me, right? My assistant. Um, she also, I think, maybe have some question to the artists as well as the organizers. Um, and then we're all also going to, uh, you know, take anybody's question who have put in the um, question seg segment on YouTube. Uh, so uh, my first question is actually to uh, Selvin um, and, you know, if Dominic or Karen would like to uh, answer as well. Um, so, uh, you know, what is your uh, vision uh, in terms of, uh, uh, you know, you know, the method um, of showing uh, the kind of contemporary artwork uh, that is made now. Um, you know, as somebody who has been an ongoing supporter of the arts, uh, uh, what do you like to see? What is uh, perhaps at the center uh, of the DSL collection uh, in terms of supporting projects uh, like the two projects that we're seeing today? speak the language of the language of its time is naturally uh, the real object and the real experience of art and we should preserve whatever is the real and the direct experience with an object of art and especially the museums but also we have to speak the language of our time and the language of our time is also about gamification is about also uh, now 3d is about also virtual reality and, and so uh, we have to always try to find a mix uh, in our projects where we have both to be, I should say, physical and also digital. And these projects are about, I should say, digital projects or digital projects. But we, we really look at them uh, with, the, I should say, as a, a traditional way to, to, to show art in the way we curate these projects. I cannot hear you. Oh, cool. Here we go. Thank you, Selwyn, for that answer. Um, and uh, uh, my second question uh, is towards Derek and Leo. Um, and uh, in a sense, we have those two parallel projects, right? Um, and um, I'm kind of curious to hear from your perspective uh, in terms of uh, what is the process of working with artists, right? Because not all the artwork, um, you know, originally made uh, as a digital artwork. So there is this uh, also rule of translation and you've done such a great job setting up this beautiful environment um, as well as how you decided to, you know, present the work. So I would just love to hear a bit about uh, the process of, uh, kind of setting the work up in this uh, virtual metaverse space. Mm. Okay, so maybe I can talk uh, talk a little bit about what I'm, uh, we are thinking when we do this project. Uh, so first of all, it's not a duplication, a duplicate of uh, the original work. So when we, uh, when we see the works, uh, uh, first of all, they are all, all already digital, but this, but still in 2D form, like a painting is still a painting, uh, sculpture is still a sculpture, uh, video is the video. But uh, when we do the translation, we are thinking that when we are, uh, when we are viewing the uh, artwork as an audience, we have some thinking in our mind. So uh, at the same time as creators, we have the ability to interpret our uh, thoughts in mind into something we can share, we can uh, let others see. So that's how it comes to our mind to make it, make this kind of world, worlds, the eight worlds. So you can see that, that they are uh, all totally different from the layout, from the, uh, from the thoughts, because they are actually coming from three architects' mind. Yeah. So we just set up uh, some basic rules when they make the uh, when they make the world and the inter interactions in it, 
and for the other, uh, for the rest of the world, uh, it's all decided by uh, those individuals. Uh, they are all from our team, and I think they have done a great job. Yeah, they inspired great. Thank us a you. lot. I can totally see that. Thank you so much, Leo. I love that um, because of the nature of working in such a uh, exhibition is very cross disciplinary that people with different expertise can come together, right, to make this uh, um, the space work. Um, and then yeah. uh, I actually have a last question uh, uh, towards Ming, uh, who is, uh, you know, an artist uh, participating in uh, exhibition in uh, Metaverse right now. Uh, so how is that experience like for you so far? Um, and also in relationship to the artwork that you presented today, uh, which I think is a very unique artwork too, that's speaking about our time and age uh, and the medium. And um, could you share a little bit of how, uh, you know, um, how do you see uh, you know, artwork like the one that you shared about um, sort of uh, fits, uh, you know, or or in a way kind of work with the uh, virtual exhibition space um, in, in, in different ways. Um, I really love and enjoy this experience today because I think now it's more culturally relevant than ever about especially with what it means when there's NFTs appearing. It means that now people are valuing things digitally to be just as important, to be um, as valuable as art pieces or assets in real life. And so just looking at that paradigm shift in people's behaviors and social behaviors, I think it's relevant, especially for Genesis as an avatar to start making art because now that everybody is moving into this um, space of the metaverse or iterations of Web3 that are just unfolding out right now, what she's trying to do is really bring culture in there, whether it's through visual art or pieces that can also be experienced in the real world, which is really important because at the end of the day, even though as we're shifting towards a digital lifestyle, we still live in a real world. So it's not about which one's more important. Is real life more important or things digitally is more important. It's more about finding this marriage and harmony between mm. those two um, things and creating a symbiotic relationship visually or through experiential art. So, yeah. That's really well said. Thank you, Ming. Um, and then before I let Camilla ask her question, I also actually have a question for Karen. And Karen, we can see you now. I'm really happy uh, to see you too on the stream. Um, and Karen, I know that you are very involved with the, um, you know, art um, fairs, right? That you are also uh, constantly traveling here and there to install uh, booths, giving lectures. So you're very much, you know, active in um, the physical art world, uh, while you're also supporting projects like this, right, which totally exist uh, in digital spaces. So um, if we could hear from you a little bit of your insight in terms of uh, when you present within a digital nature, how do you talk to people who perhaps are more well-versed uh, in the more kind of classical ideas of art? Um, and how do you sort of help them to navigate, right, into spaces like metaverse, uh, like, you know, digital artwork? Oh, do we still have Karen? Can you hear me? Oh, look, look like we might have lost Karen. Oh, Karen is back. <laughs> can, you, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you now. Were you able to uh, he uh, hear my questions earlier? Uh, yes, no, no, I could, uh, I could hear it. Um, I, I will try to to reply to 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 it half of it. Um, I I think that you know today it's uh, it's it's really interesting what we are experiencing, and we're definitely in a in a in a, um, I would say a, a new a new world, new uh, new experiences that are that are made, you know, in uh, on the metaverse. Um, so I think we are, you know, we're going slowly towards um, this um, uh, digital experiences, um, and 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 it's, you know, it takes time, but um, more and more 
people are, are, are interested by this project um, as, uh, as, as we did you know with, uh, with you and, 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 and Derek also on, on this on creating these spaces. Um, so but I think what is really interesting is also to see that you know um, even your, your, your students at NYU um, have also uh, um, uh, you know this vision on, on this um, new experiences. So um, as as far as we are as we are with Aika and, and, and also Amy, my co-founder, on this project, what is really interesting is to, you know, have new creativity on, on this uh, platform. Mm. And that's why we will continue to, to, to do it together. Um, and, and to also, um, you know, bring this new uh, uh, mindset together. I think it's very important. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Thank you, Karen. Um, and then next, Camilla, would you like to ask your question? Yeah, um, so I guess working in a digital space, as technology evolves, certain technologies become obsolete, like Sansar might not exist in a few years or it might be replaced by something else. How do you go about archiving these spaces or these artworks to be preserved and viewed in the future? Or is that not important? Are they supposed to be just like in that moment this is the artwork and if as time passes technology evolves it kind of becomes obsolete that's a very good question thinking also long term uh, perhaps on the developer side leo derek would you like to take on that question first i need to unmute yeah. oh well unmute mm -hmm. maybe derek okay so uh we, uh, I, I do believe that uh, we think the metaverse will be the future internet thing. So, um, so uh, as you uh, see, that uh, internet will be uh, archived uh, in uh, some uh, in some form. Uh, I believe that, uh, like uh, the talking uh, right now happening, will be also archived in in the future world. And also, the the environment for the developer will be uh, more and more uh, neutral in the future. So uh, all this like uh, digital file will be uh, safe in at least in, in, in our local computer. And I believe in, in, in the future, no matter uh, in sensor or other platform or, or, or uh, maybe in future, there will, uh, there will be a uniform way to like build the, the metaverse uh, 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 as, a, as, as a community, community uh, let's we, we build together. Uh, so all this like file will be uploaded um, at that time. So uh, I believe this uh, thing will, will last uh, quite a long time, mm. in my opinion, yeah. Thank you, Derek, for that. Um, and you know, this idea of archiving, I think, is so important, and it's such a good question to ask, even at the to the beginning stage of uh, setting projects like this. And uh, uh, to also answer that question uh, from my uh, perspective, also, semi as a developer of the of the project, uh, we're very much aware that you know, in in terms of uh, just like. Uh, different blog, right? Different uh, social media site, uh, and now we're in the era or coming into the era of social VR. Um, that you know, platform does change, right? We know that even um, you know, a decade ago, it was uh, Second Life that was very popular for a while. There's a really interesting connection with you know, Sensor as a platform to Second Life because uh, uh, there's a trajectory of team, right? Developing. Uh, uh, Second Life that also kind of came over to Sensor. Um, so, we'll, uh, but we also understand that you know uh, there's other platform that's that's uh, uh, shooting up right now too. There's VR Chat, right? There's of course another really well known one called Mozilla Hub. Uh, so those are all really lovely platform. Uh, but when we're designing spaces, designing exhibitions for them, uh, we understand that you know technology, uh, you know comes and goes. And so uh, when we're setting up our environment, all of our model, all of our artwork are very much archived on local drive, right? Uh, there's multiple copies. And so, uh, you know, the nature, I think, of also working digitally um, give us that benefit that we can have as many copies as we need to. And then um, 
also in terms of setting up the project that, you know, uh, right now we think Sensa is a beautiful place and it has lovely capacity to support the things that we want. But in the future, we can very well translate everything if we archive it well into another social VR platform. So in that sense, I think there's a, a lot of freedom, right? Um, and uh, in terms of where and how we can see the artwork. Um, and that's also one of the things that I really like about uh, working in digital media uh, is the fluidity, right? That uh, the value of the artwork is not only, um, only not just associating with the object, right? Uh, that Ming earlier mentioned this idea of also NFT, right? Blockchain technology, I think enabled uh, this concept of authenticity uh, for digital artists who's wanting to share their work, right? So uh, I think, you know, technology like social VR uh, become kind of, you know, this also wonderful decentralized spaces where a lot of those social hubs um, that can be built across uh, all different places, you know, globally. I just noticed that, you know, in our YouTube chat, we have somebody from Germany, right? We also uh, have people from the US and uh, Europe, uh, as well as the presenters here today are all uh, crossing from different time zones, uh, but we can all together you know, come here, share this experience, share this community. And I think that's really uh, sort of one of the plus um, of working in um, something like a metaverse uh, environment. Um, so uh, I know that our time is uh, coming to an end. Um, and uh, I just wanted to highlight uh, before we all go into the social VR space to, you know, socialize or perhaps, you know, any of you have any questions that you want to ask for a specific uh, presenter, their avatars, right? Rather, uh, I just want to highlight uh, Amy uh, in, in the YouTube uh, uh, comment segment. Amy said, congrats to all. Uh, the team for this incredible project. Uh, thank you, Amy, for joining us today. Um, and then also, uh, I want to highlight Carla Guinness, uh, who is also a very impressive uh, digital artist who is uh, based in New York. Uh, she's able to join us today, both uh, on YouTube, but also on Sensor. And then she said, this is amazing. Thank you, Carla, for that uh, positive energy here. Uh, this is amazing. Great. Uh, you know, we hope that uh, we also know that Carla works with uh, a social VR platform herself, right, uh, has really interesting practice. Uh, so thanks very much today for being able to join us. Um, and then finally, from... Uh, Sabine. Uh, Sabine says, hello from Germany. Uh, this looks like a real uh, uh, fascinating development for the collection. Uh, so thank you, Sabine, very much for um, joining us today and also following up the development uh, of the DSL collection as well as other pro projects. Um, and uh, so um, before we break from StreamYard, uh, anybody um, uh, have maybe any last words they would like to share uh, within this opening today? Beautiful. How about we do this? If we can go quickly, uh, all the presenters today, just one or two sentences. We're going to keep it real short, right? Because we're going to move on to the social VR platform. If one or two sentences today to kind of conclude uh, for today's event, that would be really great. Thank you very much. Uh, again, we'll start with uh, the Lavie family. So either S uh, Selvin, uh, Dominic, and as well as Karen, if uh, uh, all of you or any of you like to say something. So thank you to let us uh, enter with you and with all the teams in the future of the 21th century. Uh, we are part with you and we are really, really happy. Thank you so much, Dominic. Uh, and Karen? Uh, I, I wanted again to, to say congratulations and, and I know how you know how how this project from the beginning the first conversation we had up to here uh, was a, a challenging but a great adventure and we could not hope to see such um, an amazing um, realization uh, so we're super super happy and congratulations again snow derek and all the team leo 
um, and 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 uh, your students as well to be part of it. Congratulations. Thank you. Next, and Derek. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Uh, uh, first, and, and uh, I'm really, really, very happy to to be uh, get together uh, in the metaverse uh, all together with you guys. And then uh, I believe that the 3D version of internet will happening soon. And uh, thanks again for the supporting from the Professor Snow and also uh, Sylvan and Dominic. Uh, it, it's really appreciate that uh, you uh, you guys chat on the uh, cause like we, we are closing the whole world, building a whole team to, to do that is really hard. Uh, uh, to 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 do that, I I, I believe so. So uh, it's very futuristic and uh, very like uh, uh, also like prove that uh, this kind of concept can be continue and in the future. So uh, yeah, I I will pass to to the Leo, the the creator of uh, this space. I really appreciate that uh, he 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 make the effort to do that. Yeah. Hi, Leo. <laughs> okay. Thank you all for the <clears throat> for the positive comments. Uh, actually, I, I, I'm I'm so uh, I'm really excited that so many people are so interested in making art and uh, art appreciate appreciation uh, to make it uh, to make it move forward to another form, like in three D space, like you know, on, on the internet. Um, especially when there's uh, uh, when COVID nineteen comes all, all around the globe. So this is a very special time for all of us. Even if we are not together, I think uh, this actually uh, proof that metaverse and online uh, art exhibition can make people get closer. Mm. So in China, in China, many people are, are, are uh, a bit afraid to come closer to art and to come closer to uh, to people who are interested in art. So uh, we want this uh, art pieces and these spaces to um, give people some, uh, some more reasons to um, express themselves. Yeah. That's beautiful. That's Thank all. you, Leo. That's, yeah. that's, that's beautiful. Thank you very much. Yes. Uh, and then uh, Ming. so much to the Levy family and you, Professor Fu, for giving me the opportunity. <laughs> oh, so sorry. My, my dog is going crazy. Very excited too, yeah. <laughs> but um, it's such an honor to have um, all of our work showcased in this way. So thank you so much for that. Thank you, Ming. Uh, we're really glad to be able to present your wonderful work here as well. Uh, and then Camilla, uh, please also share a word. Yeah. Yeah, uh, thank you for everyone on the team. It's been a pleasure to work with everyone and showcase um, the work from the other side, from the tech side. Uh, the projects are super amazing. It's really amazing how the spaces can transform how the artwork is shown. So I'm very excited to see the future of it. Thank you, Camilla. And thanks again for the uh, backhand support of this project, as well as to uh, Phil uh, Malikan, uh, who's not able to join us today, but also has been instrumental in terms of uh, realizing the project uh, on the tech site for our VRWS park. And then finally, I just want to extend my uh, gratitude towards everybody who's involved in this project. Uh, as an artist myself, uh, having my work uh, not only present uh, in this way, but also able to have opportunity to organize shows like this, right? To uh, showcase the uh, young and upcoming artists, right? The artists uh, of uh, the next generation uh, in a metaverse exhibition that reflects this lineage that uh, I think New York as a cultural center, as well as, you know, how NYU Tisch School of the Arts uh, has been playing, right, in terms of nurturing uh, this many, you know, young artists uh, who's working specifically, you know, with media. And so uh, I think there's a lot of potential there. Uh, the future, right, is uh, 
ours is also theirs and uh, so you know I really uh, you know encourages them and encourages uh, young artists and you know everybody uh, to you know be open right in terms of uh, you know uh, you know what is happening right now uh, the exciting kind of energies right and uh, uh, you know I think it's crucial to then critically engage right especially when technology comes along and I think you know uh, DSL collection has been such a a great example in terms of always having an eye right on the future uh, but also uh, you know uh, humanity what's uh, the most important uh, is always put in a center right of uh, uh, of uh, both the artwork uh, and now the art projects that you uh, have supported. So thanks very much uh, for that. Uh, and uh, thank you all for all the presenters. Uh, and thanks everyone for um, joining in today, whether it's through YouTube link or through Sensar. Uh, so we're going to conclude here, but feel free to stick around, right? Social VR platform, feel free to uh, stay in Sensar with your avatar. Uh, again, I've put the, you know, uh, Sensar link directly onto our YouTube channel. So those of you who still like to uh, download Sensor, by the way, it's a free right application. Uh, you just have to download it on PC. Um, once you download it and uh, register for free, you can then visit the link uh, and all of the Sensor exhibition, uh, both the v uh, VRWS Park as well as DSL collection and Sensor are interconnected. So we will see you there. Thank you everyone again. Thank you all. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye.